I, uh, I think I had to do like nine auditions to get the role of Beckett. <laughs> oh, gosh. And um, I, they had like a huge list of women that they were looking at. And I don't know how it happened. I really think I was just lucky in the end. Either they all said, you know, no, we don't have time right now, or, or something happened. They came to the audition with a booger in their nose. I don't know. But anyway, I got it. It was great. When we went to New York and we started filming the pilot, I got a chance to hang around with uh, proper New York City homicide detectives. And, um, and then I did the same when I came back to Los Angeles. And that, that was important, I think, especially for the first stages, because... <laughs> Um, I needed to understand why she was so particular about doing things and following the rules and things like that. And I'm so much more of a scofflaw than she was at least initially. So I was kind of like, why is she so big on this? And you realize that <clears throat> in hanging out with these detectives that it's not just about finding the bad guy. It's about making sure that there is no crack in the case that could let the bad guy get away with it. And that's all their responsibility. They have to make sure that they have all the paperwork done properly, they have all of the research done properly, and they have to be really diligent, um, diligent uh, kind of soldiers of justice. And so I, I started understanding why she was like that because of that, that encounter with those detectives. Right now, my favorite episode is Kill, Kill Shot which is uh, 409. Um, it was really fun to work on that, and it's a little bit more of a psychological episode. Uh, I, I enjoy the episodes where we're delving more into character and digging into the characters' pasts and um, into maybe quirks that they share or carry. Um, it was really fun to do the Nikki Heat episode last year. It was really fun to do uh, all of the mother kind of episodes, um, watching that storyline crescendo. Um, and being a part of it is always fun to play, you know, because you have to dig a little deeper, and that makes it that makes it that much more fun, you know. Yeah, we're kind of like in an underground, dungeony space um, castle. Nathan's character and I end up handcuffed here and stuck and trying to get out. Yeah, no, I think that they should definitely be together. I think. I think, you know, there's little things that they have to figure out, you know. I mean, Castle was with two women in two marriages, and Lord knows how many women. Um, and he, you know, something went wrong there. And I think for Beckett, she needs to know what happened there. And I kind of have a feeling that Castle hasn't come to full terms with those relationships and why they broke up. Um, and, you know, for Beckett, I think Killshot is a part of that progression, but... Um, she's finally coming to a space where she's, she's ready to dive into something like this and be fully committed to something uh, like a relationship with Castle, um, in spite of the fact that she might never get the answers that she's looking for. Um, so I think, you know, those, those were necessary steps, and I think that they're just about at the point of, of being together, which I can't wait for. I think they're perfect for each other. I think Beckett enjoys... Castle's sense of humor, obviously. Um, he keeps things creative and light, and he keeps her out of her head. And um, he's inspiring for her because he is almost the... He's the embodiment of this other side of her, which is, you know, this kind of, I think, you know, youthful and um, energetic person that decided to change because of events in her past. But it's all there. It's all in her, you know. And you see it, I see it at least, when the two of them are doing that kind of verbal foreplay when they're figuring out, you know, the, or solving a case together and they jump in on each other's lines and um, feed each other information and they get really high on solving a case together. But that's that excitement that they both share. Um, so those, those are some of the things. And I think also for Beckett, he's a great father. Um, he's a great son. He's a caring man, you know, and I think in the end it comes down to finding somebody who can be your true friend and who will stand by you no matter what happens out there. And Lord knows Castle's been there for some crazy events in Beckett's life, right? Apartment exploding, sniper shot, things like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'd say he's true blue, but anyway. <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, she at the beginning of the series, she was uh, she was portrayed as very by the book. And I think we've been unpeeling all of that as we've gone on in, in years. And she's she's just as like mischievous as as Castle's character is. And it's nice to see pops of that here and there. Um, you know what I'm liking about Beckett, especially this season, and I think anybody can relate to this, is no one's perfect. You know, everyone's flawed. And it's, I think, a really kind of modern experience to have heroes that are flawed, and they're trying to become their better selves. They might not always make the right decisions. They might not always do everything the best way possible. Um, but that struggle and that attempt and that failure and then that reattempt, that's interesting. And that's why she's interesting to me. And I think that I, I relate to that. I think everybody relates to that. And then on the other hand, you know, she's a strong modern day woman. She's in a position that typically is held by, you know, men. And she's somehow managed to hold on to her sensuality and her femininity in spite of the fact that, you know, she's always playing with the boys. And I think that that's just something that we can do now. Women don't have to look like the boys in order to play with the boys. We can, we can look like we are and we can speak like we are and we can be who we are um, without kind of establishing like a real gruff and ugh, dudish kind of nature. Um, so she's interesting like that, and I think she's somebody that I, I also kind of admire and look up to. She has a tremendous amount of integrity. She's very intelligent, and she's adorable as well in the same, same time, you know.